And welcome back to the 2022 Moomba Masters. We're now bringing our Nautique G23 on for our wakeboard event. We're going to kick things off with women's wakeboard. Each of our competitors have two passes and two falls to uh, and up to four tricks per pass. And we have our first competitor, Hayley Bowman, on the water. This is trick number three coming up here. Getting up heel side with a heel side back roll. Nice big air off that G23 wake. And a last trick to finish off on pass number one. It's a toe side scarecrow. Stamps the landing out in the flats. As we go to pass number two now. Getting out, switches it up. Goes heel side in for a half cab roll and falls. There, so that's one fall there for Hayley Bowman. And now we're going to go to second pass, second trick. Oh, and she's fallen again on a heel side. Indy tantrum and disappointing stuff there. Hayley Bowman from Australia. Well, still sticking with Australia. Charlie Shaw, our competitor number two. First trick, first pass, and an Indy tantrum just to start things off. Heaps of height there. The judges are going to like that one as she comes in for trick number two. There's a Tootsie roll and just cases the wake a little and just can't manage to hang on to that one. So she'll be up and back in, which she is. Opens up with a big old toe side front roll, getting nice and wide for this next approach. Coming in, edges hard, heel side, and it's a heel side 180 to finish things off. So we're going out of the USA. It's Jamie Lapina. First trick, first pass, and lands a big heelside tantrum. Now going toe side, lining up on that G23 wakes. Toe side front roll, landing right out in the flats. Getting herself lined up again here for third trick. Heelside 540, nailing that straight down the wake. And let's see what she has on this final trick, lining up heelside. Gets up, or might have just missed her kick on that last one. A half cab 180 to finish off. Jamie Lapina. And staying with the USA, we go now to Holly Waldrop. Out nice and wide. Got to start on the heel side. Edges in. There's an indie tantrum to kick things off. Now starts to uh, come in with a wrap position on the toe side. And hits the wake sand. The toe side spin and there well, some sort of a sp probably looking for a three there and unfortunately fails to ride it out now back on heel side there's a heel side tantrum nice and big now moves out as wide as you like and cuts in on toe side toe side tootsie roll big points there for holly waldrop as we go now to australia mackenzie mccarthy lining up first pass first trick Hunches herself over a front roll with a front side 180, a toe side scarecrow to kick things off here at the 2022 Moomba Masters into a heel side tantrum. We've seen that from a number of girls, but really stamping it right there. Mackenzie McCarthy, a tootsie roll on trick three. What does she have in store for us on her fourth trick? Getting the crowd pumped up. It's a heel side, back side, 360 to finish things off on pass one. We pick her up here with pass number two now, lining herself up. Oh, huge toe side back roll to revert. Getting in now, switching it up, heel side. Looking for a big air off this G23 and the KGB. Second trick, third trick coming up. Behind that G23, oh, and falling there on a switch, heel side 360, and that's going to finish her off. Now, Mary Morgan Howell, let's see what she can do. Comes in heel side for a big old back roll to start things. Now, moves out, eyeing off that wake. Comes in toe side. There's a tootsie roll for Mary Morgan Howell. Now, Nice and wide for this approach. Edges in aggressively and there's a KGB and stands it up. Oh, big point she's putting on here. And uh, what's she got here? A dumb dumb and cases the wake and unfortunately falling on that fourth trick. So second pass. See if, see if she can move things up a little here. Comes in hillside. There's a hillside three. Sliding down that huge wake from the G23. Now, second trick edges in toe side for an off axis 540 good stuff here from mary morgan howe now eyeing off that wake and starts to edge in very aggressively on the heel side and that's a roll to blind and a good stuff there mary morgan howe and who is going to be our women's wakeboard champion mary morgan howe of the usa with a score of 9.07
Mackenzie McCarthy with 8.1. And in third place, Jamie Lapina. And now we go to men's wakeboard. Our first competitor is from Australia, Bryce Gray, coming in from the city end. Comes in heel side, aggressive KGB and can't manage to ride it out. Oh, bad luck there for the young Aussie, but we'll pick him up and bring him back on course now. Still in heel side, back in again. There's the KGB, rides it out this time. Third trick coming in from his toe side. Bat wing to blind. Nice and wide now, way out, edges in and finishes with an indie tantrum to blind for Bryce Gray from Australia. We go to another Australian, Tony Iconi. Going to start and kick things off toe side with a huge nose grab, Chromo 540. Here to kick things off on pass one. Going to go... Toe side again with a 900. Two full rotations plus a 180. He lines up now for his second one. Heel side, 720, landing on the right on the back of that wakeboard and getting out nice and wide here for his last trick on pass one. Gets in heel side with an indie tantrum to blind. So a solid opening pass here for Tony Iconi. So second pass for Tony Iconi behind our G23 and a switch chromo 540. Now switching it up, going in heel side for this second trick. A huge nose grab to blind. So what else has he got in store for us here? A little bit of a narrow start, just a little uh, backside 180. And final trick coming up here. Setting up heel side behind this huge Melbourne crowd. And it is a front mobe. Oh, known as a slim chance and now a wild card trick so if you complete the first two passes you get a chance at a huge trick to finish things off and it was a double half cab roll from Tony Igoni what a performance here from the young Australian and still in Australia we go to Hayden Brew opening trick now first pass Moby Dick it looks like and comes up way short on the wake and just can't ride that one out so we get him back on the water and see what he can do for his second trick. He's got a little bit of uh, points to make up here and starts things off with a nose grab, Moby Dick, and way, way out for his next approach, heel side. Double half, oh, no, not one but two spins. Well, the double half cab roll, awesome stuff. Hayden Brew from Australia. We'll see what Corey Tunison from Australia is going to have for us here on his opening pass. That is a heel side, 720 with a double grab. Leaning out nice and wide on that G23 now. Coming in toe side and spinning a toe side, 900. Right there for this Melbourne crowd. Switching it up again. Gonna angle into that wake and a huge mute mobe, 540 for Corey Tunison. Final trick coming up, switching back heel side. Edging into that wake and a double back roll and unfortunately just falling there, Corey Tunison, on the end of that first pass. But picking things back up, he's wrapped up now and a huge wrapped up backside 720, Corey Tunison from Australia. Looking now for a toe side and it looks to be a toe side 900. Two tricks still coming up, just telling the boat to slow down a little bit. Going to try and get a little bit more height off these wakes and a huge chromo 540. What's, he's going to, what's he going to do in this last trick here in the 2022 Moomba Masters? He's going to come in with a double half cab roll. So completing the, completing the second pass, going to come with his wild card trick. And what has he got? He's going to do the double back roll. It looks like he is the trick he fell on on the first pass and a huge run there from Corey Tunison from Australia. And now we move to the USA and Tyler Hyam coming in now. Heel side and he's wrapped and that's a 360 to 180 rewind. The 3 2 1 awesome start for Tyler Hyam. Now cuts in for his second trick. Heel side seven and somehow catches an edge and unfortunately falls on trick number two. 
Now, final rider, Nick Rapper, Australia, <laughs> opens with a, a huge Indy Moby Dick. Now, coming back in heelside. What's he got in store for us now? The back mob 540. Nick Rapper really piling on some points, just adjusting the speed a little there. Comes in for a heel side seven. Looking extremely solid on this opening pass is Nick Rapper from Australia. Comes in now, toe side. And spins, and that's a 900, but he just can't seem to hang on to it. Well, Nick Rapper looking to, uh, well, as they say in the classics, spinning to win. But second pass now, the Chrome Mobe 540 stumps it out. That was a huge one now, just dropping the speed down a fraction. Comes in again, toe side, and there's the toe side nine, just slides down that wake as he finishes the last rotation. Now the switch Chrome Mobe 540 for Nick Rapper. What's he got left for us now on his fourth trick? Coming in. Hits that huge wake. Oh, and the double half cab roll, as neat as you like. And Nick Rapper, well, he's only got his wild card trick left to go. And what does he have in store for us? Oh, the double indie tantrum. And Nick Rapper from Australia pumps the fist. An awesome ride from Nick Rapper. And we'll wait to see what the results are. And they're through Nick Rapper from Australia taking home the title of the men's wakeboard champion. In second place, Corey Tunison from Australia and taking out third, Tony Iconi.